To locate the firmware update for your GNSS receiver, log in to your Topcon Enterprise account. Once you've selected the Enterprise account, go to My Topcon and select the big blue square, followed by Sign In. When prompted, either create a new account if you do not currently own one, or simply sign in using your current credentials. Once logged in, you'll notice any products that you currently have registered towards the bottom of the screen. If your products are not currently registered, next you'll need to move to the Update section. Once in the Updates screen, you'll need to register your product. The bottom is located just below the current product list. In the product registration window, select your product type, in this case GNSS, select your receiver from the drop down list, in this case we'll be using a GR5 as an example, in the following fields enter your serial number, confirm the serial number, and then enter your product purchase date does not have to be exact, it can be in the ballpark range. Once the date has been entered, navigate down, locate a reseller, you'll be selecting your state, in this case Oregon. Once the state is selected, click search below to locate the PPI group from the right hand side. Scroll to the bottom of the list and select the PPI group. Once selected, confirm all your information is correct, then add the product. Once the product has been registered, it will show up in your firmware and update section. Select the product. From here, you'll notice first off the README for the firmware update. And depending on your product, you may have multiple board versions for the firmware update. To confirm which board you're currently running, you'll need to scroll down to the software section and download the Topcon receiver utility for your personal computer. Once downloaded, confirm the location and run the product to install the Topcon receiver utility. The installation is fairly short. And once done, we should be able to locate our board version from our information pane. The install wizard will prompt you for the install location, and then whether you're installing for just your use or anyone on the computer. Confirm the location and install. When complete, ensure Launch Topcon Receiver Utility is selected and click Finish. A window will pop up and by default your device is not connected. You'll need to make sure you're connected either by USB, Bluetooth, or whichever method you're most comfortable with. From the device drop down, select Application Mode and make sure Receiver Managing is selected. Once it's selected, from the device drop down, once again, select Connect. Confirm your connection method. In this case, we did a serial port. Confirm the connection. Once confirmed, select OK. Then connect the device. You'll notice in the background, the receiver utility window has turned white, confirming the connection. Next, select the information icon. Double click, and it will bring up your current information for your device. Confirm underneath the GNSS board your current board version, in this case GR5-3. Next, close down the Topcon receiver utility, navigate to the correct board version, and download the firmware update.
confirm your download location. Once the files are downloaded, open the folder. Be sure to extract the update and place it wherever you choose. I uh, usually keep it in the same folder. Once extracted, confirm the files. Double click to open. You should have three files within the folder. Once confirmed, close the window. Navigate back to your TopCon receiver utility window. Next, go to your device drop down in the upper left corner. Go to application mode. Go to firmware updating. Again, go to your device drop down. Select connect and confirm that the screen in the back has turned white after confirming your connection mode. Once done, double click the firmware loading icon, confirm receiver type, select next, confirm the information for your receiver. In the first browse field, you'll be going to the RAM image file and select open. In the second field, you'll be going to the main.lsp file and once again select open. Now select next. The firmware update will now proceed. This can take some time depending on the receiver. Once the flash is finished updating, go ahead and close the window, close out of the connection, and close down your TopCon receiver utility. Your firmware has now been updated and you're ready to go.